हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू सॉल्व दिस नाइस मैथ ओलंपियाडल जबरा प्रॉब्लम एंड हियर वी हैव एम स्क्वायर माइनस एन स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू 15 एंड वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द वैल्यूज ऑफ एम एंड एन व्हेन आवर एम एंड एन आर नेचुरल नंबर्स सो वी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फॉर द नेचुरल वैल्यूज सो हियर फर्स्ट स्टेप वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज हियर फर्स्ट you focus in the left hand side and you see here we have this is the uh, very well known famous identity and we know that m square minus n square equals to m minus n times of m plus n equals to 15. So now uh, here you see that in the left hand side we have two factors are multiplied by each other but in the right hand side we have only one factor. So and uh, now we first find the factors in the right hand side in which we get the 15 in which we get the product of two numbers is 15 so we have uh, the numbers whose product is 15 are 3 times of 5 is 15 and 5 times of 3 is also 15 uh, as well as 1 times of 15 is 15 and 15 times of 1 is 15. So we have these four pairs of natural numbers whose product is 15. So uh, now we choose uh, the, the possible cases uh, which satisfy our given statement. So if you focus here we have m minus n into m plus n. If we make the relation between m minus n and m plus 1. So uh, we clearly say that m minus n is always less than m plus n when our m and n are natural number. So if m and n are natural number, so uh, this condition always hold for all values of m and n. So uh, here we choose those pair which satisfy this condition in which the first number is less than the second number. So if you focus here 3 and 5, so 3 is less than 5. So it means that we, uh, this is the possible case, we choose it and if you focus here 5 is greater than 3. So uh, it is not possible because our first number is always less than the second number. So we reject this case. Similarly here our 1 is less than 15. So we choose this one and 15 is greater than 1. So we reject this one also. So we have two possible cases 3, 5 and 1, 15. So we uh, write these cases here. So here we write our case number one. So in case number one, we compare the left hand side with these numbers and we write it as m plus n equals to five and m minus n equals to three. So this is our case number one and uh, we have our case number two is in this form m plus n equals to 15 and m minus n equals to 1. So in case number 2 we compare these two factors in the left hand side 1 and 15. So we have these two cases and now we solve these two cases and we, get, we find the values of m and n. So now first we focus on case number 1. So we copy down the uh, question statement, uh, sorry, uh, equations in case number one, these are m plus n equals to five and m minus n equals to three. So we call this as equation number one and this as equation number two. So first we add equation number one and equation number two, then you easily say, see that this is positive and negative are cancelled by each other and we get m plus m is two m and five plus three is eight. So this implies that the value of m equals to 4. Similarly, uh, now we substitute this value of m in equation number 2. So we write here, put in equation number 2. So we have 4 minus n equals to 3. So this implies that we easily get the value of n equals to 1. So here we have the first natural solution of this question is 4 and 1. So now we uh, solve uh, the second case in order to find the other solutions. So here we copy down our case number two. So our case number two is m plus n equals to 15 and m minus n equals to 1. And we call this as equation number three and this as equation number four. 
So first we add equation number 3 and equation number 4. So when we add these two equations, then this is positive and negative are cancelled by each other and we get here uh, m plus m is 2 m 15 plus 1 is 16 so here we easily get the value of uh, m equals to 8 similarly uh, we uh, substitute uh, this value of m in equation number 4 so we write here put in 4 so uh, we have 8 minus n equals to 1 so here uh, this implies that the value of n equals to 8 minus 1 and we easily get the value of n equals to 7. So uh, we have uh, the other solution of this question is m into n equals to 8 and 7. So we have finally we have these two natural solutions of the given question. So now we check these solutions. Is these solutions are uh, satisfied our given question statement or not? So to check these solutions, first we copy down our question statement. So our question statement is m square minus n square equals to 15. And here we write uh, our two solutions. So our first solution is m n equals to 4 into 1 and our second solution is m n equals to 8 and 7 so that here first we substitute uh, this value in this equation and we get here 4 square minus 1 square equals to 15 and we know that 4 square uh, equals to 16 minus 1 square is 1 equals to 15 so 16 minus 1 is 15 equals to 15 so this shows that left hand side equals to right hand side it means that uh, this value of mn satisfied over this question statement so now we check our second solution uh, so here we substitute m equals to 8 and n equals to 7 in this equation so we get here 8 square minus 7 square equals to 15 so we know that 8 square is 64 and 7 square is 49 equals to 15. So here uh, 64 minus 49 equals to 15 equals to 15. So this shows that left hand side equals to right hand side. So this means that uh, the value of m n 8 7 is satisfied over given question statement. So this is the our final answer of this question and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.